Hello, my name is Megan from Brown Owl Library. This is Terrific Tuesday, and today we are going to try to make a kite. You can pick up a kit for this project in our rear vestibule. In that kit, you will find a large square of plastic, a long rectangle of plastic, look at that smear, that's from this project. A small square of plastic, lots of plastic ties, some markers, a spool of string, and some dowels. One of them will be shorter than the other. You will also need a good pair of scissors, maybe somebody to use them for you, some tape, and something like a writing utensil that has a sharp end for you to poke holes with. Let's get started. Okay, step one of this project is decorating your kite. You can decorate it however you want, but keep in mind, this is plastic and these are regular markers. So it will need time to dry. Now, if you're super excited, you can just jump right in to making your kite without letting the markers dry. It's totally fine, but you will smear your artwork and maybe get marker on your arms and hands. You could also choose not to decorate your kite or color it however you want, let it dry, and then come back to this video. I'm excited, so I'm gonna jump right into the next step. Step two, we're gonna turn the piece of plastic to where it looks like a diamond. We are going to take our long dowel, we're gonna give it a practice bend, we're gonna lay it across the diamond, and we're gonna tie one end of this plastic to it. Go ahead and leave a long string and wrap the other string around the dowel and the plastic square several times. We wanna make sure that plastic is nice and secure. When you feel good about it, tie your plastic strip in a knot. Now, this part's a little tricky, Ooh. especially if your dowel moves when you try and do it. Let's try that again. This time, I'm just gonna fold the plastic a little bit over the end of the dowel, and then I'm going to wrap my plastic strip around it. Tie it in a nice knot. Now, we're gonna bend our dowel, and we're gonna do the same to the other side. The easiest way to do this is to hold your dowel with one hand, fold that plastic over, Get a strip, see if you can hold that with one hand and wrap with the other.
Okay, I just wanna make sure that this is nice and secure. So I'm gonna take a little bit of tape. This is a very lightweight tape. You could also use scotch tape, masking tape, it's up to you. You can get just a little strip. I'm just gonna fold it around the end here like this. We'll just leave it like that for now. And do the same on the other side. Okay. Now, you have this curved dowel and you see that your the top of your plastic diamond is kind of hanging over the sides of that. We can also make this secure by taking more tape just kind of folding that plastic over the dowel and taping it. Okay, so you have a crossbar. Take your shorter dowel, slide it under your crossbar. Now we're going to do the bottom and the top. So the bottom, just fold that plastic over just a little bit over the end of the dowel. Take a plastic strip. several times so that it's nice and secure. Tie it in a knot. Okay. Now I'm going to turn this around and I'm going to do the same thing to the top of the kite. I'm fold that plastic over just a little. I'm going to take a plastic strip, wrap it around. I'm going to trim this on the top. Okay, now you have a body of the kite. So your next step is to add some balance. To do this, we're going to add some fringe to the sides. So I'm just going to scoop this over so you can see. I have my small square of plastic. I'm going to roll it up. Put my fingers on the end there. And use my scissors to cut some strips. Roll it. And I'm going to cut this in half. And one fringe I'm going to put on one side of the kite. I'm just going to roll it up. I'm going to tie it with some more plastic.
I'm going to do the same on the other side with the remaining fringe. So just roll that around this corner of the kite. Take some plastic fringe and loop that around. Okay, now this kite needs a tail. So with your long rectangle of plastic, you're gonna cut some strips. I think that's probably good. So you are going to take these strips together end to end. You're going to attach the tail to your kite. So this is the corner farthest from the crossbar. Leave a little bit of the tail up on that straight dowel. Take another tie and loop it around the dowel, the towel, <laughs> sorry, the dowel, the tail, and the plastic of the kite. Okay, now you have a kite with some ways for it to balance in the air, including a very long tail. Now it needs a bridle. For this part, we are going to poke holes. So where your crossbars meet, you're gonna poke, actually, where your crossbars meet, you're gonna notice there are four places that you could poke holes. There's one, two, three, four. We're only gonna poke two holes. We're gonna do one to the top of the crossbar on the left side of the straight dowel. And we're gonna do one below the crossbar on the right side of the dowel. 
about two thirds of the way from the top of the kite. So not halfway, but a little bit farther. We're gonna poke holes to the left and the right of the dowel. Okay, now we need a little bit of kite string. Actually, give yourself a good amount of kite string. Do two arms lengths, or an arm length and a little bit more. Fold your string in half. I'm just gonna trim the edges so it's neat. You're gonna turn your kite over and at the top hole, you're gonna poke your ends through. You're gonna thread the string back through that other hole by the crossbars. And turn this around again. Okay, now you have two ends of this loop. One has two loose strings, one has a loop. You're gonna put the two loose strings through the loop you're going to pull it tight. Then you're going to take your two loose ends and trim this again so they match. You're going to poke it through the holes farther down the kite. So you go down to the underside of the kite. You go around the dowel and back to the top of the kite. Turn this over. Now you have two loose ends and some string that's connected to the kite. You're gonna tie that into a knot. Make this a really strong knot. Tie it tight. Trim the edges. Okay. So we need another knot in the bridle. If you take this, the end of the bridle to one side, you notice you kind of have a triangle. You have this middle dowel, you have the top of the triangle and you have the bottom of the triangle. Ultimately, we want the string from the crossbars to the side of the kite to be shorter than the string from the straight bar to the side of the kite. We're gonna tie a knot here where the string reaches the edge of the kite where the top string is shorter than the bottom string. That looks pretty good to me. To tie a knot, put your thread in a circle, take the top loop, pull it through the circle. I'm gonna take this back to the side so I can kind of measure and pull it tight. Okay, that's it. You have a kite with a way to balance and a bridle. You might be wondering, why is that knot on the bridle so important? Basically, where the knot is impacts the angle of your kite in the air. So if you go outside and you try to fly your kite and you find that it's not catching any air, you could adjust where this knot is and see if it does a little bit better. I hope you're happy with your kite. I know for me, this was a series of trial and error, but that's okay. That's what experimenting is all about. Now that you have your beautiful kite, 
I hope you get a chance to go out and fly it. Bye.